What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel and hi, welcome if you're new here. My name is Akisha and for today's video, it is a very special day because my Nina is getting married today and hopefully I'm going to be able to film uh, everything and mostly it's going to be montages and slow-mos and time lapses. So, I hope you guys enjoy this very special video I have brought you guys today. I'll see you guys later. Bye! So pretty in her silver robe. How do you feel? Nervous. She's nervous, but she's so pretty. With her hair and everything. Me. See you later, bride. The bottle. The bottle. Can you can you say Janelle? Janelle. <laughs>
Uh, before I start, I just want to give God the glory and honor uh, without Him and sustaining us, uh, all this would be impossible. Hi, babe. We are finally here. Um, but before I start, I just want to say that I always run out of words every time I try writing this now. So I waited. I didn't write this a month ago or two weeks ago. I, I waited until the right words come to me. The words came when we were on the plane on the way here. So here it is. My vow on my way to you. As the plane took off, it brought me back to so much memories of us together. Our dates, our fights, our laughters, our pains, our struggles, our firsts, our beginning. I remember the first time we met when we talked. It felt like everything was just right. There was no pretension, no putting your best foot forward. It was genuine. We just talked and opened up to each other. And that's how I knew that I had to know you more. That I had to pursue you. And no, oh boy, I'm glad I did. How ironic, isn't it? That a plane ride reminds me of us. Maybe it's because of all those waiting. Waiting in line, waiting for your turn, checking and waiting if it's time to board. And once in the sky, you sit there, patiently, waiting. Your butt starts to hurt, your lower back starts to ache, you can't sleep, you get restless, you get sick, yet you still do it. And you would do it all over again in your heart. Because you know something good, something beautiful is waiting on the other side. As the plane landed in Manila, everything started to kick in. Babe, we're on the end game now. And only one in 13 billion possibilities that we can save and persevere the survival of human race. One possibility is us getting married. So God, as my witness, and everyone in this room, to your heart, I vow. I vow to always support you. To always be there for you. I vow to always wash the dishes. I vow to never stop pursuing you. To always put your needs above mine. To make every day a step towards forever. To always reach out and learn more about you. I vow to always slow dance you to your favorite songs. I vow to be the best husband and father to our future children. I vow to agree and disagree on the next dessert to eat. I vow to cross any seas, climb any mountains, wait any time just to hold you. And above all, I vow to love you with all of my heart until it stops me. So I actually just wrote my vow this morning. I didn't even know how to start. Whenever I attempt to write, I can't help but cry. But here we go. What a journey it has been for us. We were just teenagers when we fell in love. With everything in me, knew you're the one. The one I've been waiting for. The one I'm going to spend my forever with. I want to thank God because I don't deserve a love like yours. I was broken. But he sent you to help me pick up the pieces as he continually molded me into the 
person I am now. And I will be forever grateful. I hope that people can see right through my eyes so they can see what a great person you are and know that you have the biggest heart. In that way, they'll know why I fell in love with you. But it's good that they don't. Because then, they'll fall in love with you too. And you know you're mine. <laughs> but I didn't know how we do it. Last four years apart. Let me say this again. Our love paddled across the ocean, not knowing the waves coming our way. But it endured. It endured because it's real, it's deep, and it's worth fighting for. But we no longer have to fight anymore. The battle has been won. We won. We are finally in front of God and the people we love, professing our love for each other. I want you to know that I will always be here for you. I'm your partner in everything, your best friend, your wife. As they say, true, thick, and thin, literally. <laughs> you no longer have to walk this life alone. We will go hand in hand together. And my love will show you why I will never leave. But mostly, I can't wait for the day when I will no longer have to see the word departure. Only the word arrival. That after a long tiring day from work, I'll drive home, park my car, open the door, run into your arms, and I can finally say, I have arrived. I finally arrived. I love you so much, Jeff and Joseph.